Jedef Healthcare Stories. Part 1 Tables and Scales. My name is Alice Wong, and I live in San Francisco. Yes, one area that I'm very bad about are uh, getting routine public exams. So, this is a women's health practice, and they do not have a single adjustable height exam table. I'm not getting regular public exams because of this hassle. My name is Larry Voss. I uh, live in Darien, Illinois, a suburb, suburb of Chicago. I had a lot of discomfort in my abdomen. Uh, it was diagnosed originally as a bowel obstruction, and it was recommended by him that I have an MRI. But when I went there, we found out that there was no way that physically they could get me as a wheelchair user, an event user, onto the exam, you know, table that they used for the MRI, and they didn't have Hoyer lift or any kind of other ways of giving me access to that equipment. So finally, we did get a call from the nurse that she had found an accessible facility. Uh, this took about nine months in total, and when the scan was done, the MRI was done, they found that it had originally been a much smaller uh, growth that they detected had become almost double the size. My name is Francis Deloach. My doctor's office, unfortunately, is not that wheelchair accessible. The exam tables, forget it. I have to literally be picked up to put, put me either on the table or off the table. I need the examining, and the examining tables in order for me to transfer and now myself, I need them to be able to move up and down so I can do what I call a slide transfer, which is basically transfer on my bottom from one surface to the other. If they go and pick me up to put me on the exam table, and if they don't do it right, or listen to me so I can tell them how to do it, I will end up breaking a bone. My name is Michael Ogg. I live here in Princeton Junction, New Jersey. Just before I was hospitalized at the um, um, doctor who examined me and then uh, sent me to hospital, Again, in his doctor's office, he had an examination table, uh, but no transfer equipment. Um, he worked single-handedly. Actually, the first time I saw him, um, he got his secretary to help transfer me. Um, generally, secretaries don't like having to lift people. It's not their job, and uh, they shouldn't be doing that, and they're certainly not trained to do it. I don't think I've been to any single doctor's office where they've actually had transfer equipment. My name is Jennifer Thomas. I'm 35 years old. Um, I live in Arlington Heights. When I was nine months pregnant and had to go for one of my last ultrasounds, there was no accessible table. <laughs> really can't, can barely get up to the desk to check in and somebody says, oh, oh, oh. Uh, and really sort of dumbfounded, like, how are we gonna treat her? And, you know, wow, like, a person with a disability getting pregnant was some kind of science experiment. And um, it's not. <laughs> My name is Mary Delgado, and I live here in Chicago. I went five years w without a pap smear because I could no longer get up on the table. So I told my doctor, I need a pap smear. She said, oh, you know, you do need a pap smear. <laughs> and, then, and then she said, I, said I, need, I need one where the table's low so I can, I can scoot over there. She said, that's a great idea. Find one. I have to always guess at my weight. I have not been weighed, let's say, for 20 years. I have frequent visits to a doctor's office, neurologist, physiatrist, urologist, uh, you name it, uh, primary care, you name it. Um, I see quite a few doctors, and not one of them has a way of weighing me. The last time I was weighed in a doctor's office was when I could last stand on my own two feet, 
which was well over 10 years ago. I think if you ask any person with a disability, uh, these issues are part and parcel with everyday experiences. Healthcare stories made possible with generous support from the Special Hope Foundation and the Manuel D. and Rhoda Mayerson Foundation. For more information, visit dreadf.org slash healthcare dash stories. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share alike, 3.0, unported license.